In the last video, we looked at one-to-many relationships, and I finished at the end of the video mentioning a one-to-one. -one. Well, in this video, we're going to continue looking at a one-to-one -one to show you how that works, and then move on to a many-to-many -many relationship. Now, I said that one-to-one -one relationships were really not very common at all. I'm going to show you quickly how to create one. Um, but really, they're not widely used. If I just show you that I have a repairs table, which details the repairs done on certain cars with a job number attached to it, and a cost table that's going to detail the job number and what the charge for that work was. Now, because the charge for any job can only be one charge, then we may as well have this job number as a, as a primary key, so unique. There can only ever be one job number and one charge. It's unique. So I've set that up as a primary key. When I go into the relationships window, there's my two tables, repairs and costs, and you can see that both of them have job number as a primary key. So I'm just going to link those together by clicking and dragging and drop on the opposite job number. And you can see there we've got the repairs, job number, cost table job number and at the bottom we've got a one-to-one -one. remember i said you don't have to determine what the relationship is the computer picks it up automatically based on the status of the primary keys of course you shouldn't rely on that you should know what you're doing um, so i'm going to create that and there's the relationship created we'll close down the relationships window So if we have a look now at the repairs table, we can see now that job number one, done by mechanic John, if we click on the plus sign to get the sub data sheet, there's the charge for that job. I can't add another record to that because there's more than one charge for a job, so it won't let me. Each table as the job number is unique, there can only ever be one job on the car for uh, sort of reporting purposes, um, and there can only be one charge for that. If I click on another one, this one done by Stephen, there's no charge, so I can add in the charge for that work. So that's how you can use a one to one relationship. We're going to, on now to talk about a many to many relationship. A many-to-many -many relationship is quite unique. Um, in the previous two relationships, we've just been working with the links between the two tables. But with a many-to-many -many relationship, you've actually got to create a third joining table to join the two tables together that you want to link. We use a many-to-many -many relationship in this kind of instance. Imagine uh, a warehouse. A warehouse might have lots of different products in there. Any one product, for example, a coffee table, might have many orders associated with it. Many people will buy that coffee table. On the other hand, one person who orders a coffee table might also order lots of other products. That's what gives rise to the many-to-many -many relationship. Lots of different products lots of different orders and linking them all together. Let's have a look at this database about orders. We've got a products table and in the products table you can see we've got lots of different products available for the customer to purchase. Obviously each product is only in the table once. And we have an orders table. These are the orders for the products. Um, each order um, has got a specific date associated with that. If I switch to design view, you'll see that the order reference here is a primary key. And if I return to the product table, you will see that the product reference is a primary key. So it's two tables with a different primary key on each. And we're going to link those together. So this is totally outside what you would have done previously 
with relationships where you have to use the same data to make that join. To do this, we need to create a brand new joining table. And it's just an ordinary table, so I'm going to create it in Design View. And we're going to use fields that will have the same data set up as the primary keys in the two tables that we actually want to join. So I've set up those fields. The order reference is a number field, and the product ref is a data text data type. Now we need to assign these as a primary key, but not just one field, both fields. So if we select both fields together and then click on the primary key, what that does is makes a primary key out of both fields. So it means the combination of those both fields has to be unique. The combination that has to be unique. So I'll save this field, this table, as I'll just call it junction and OK and then close that down. Let's go back into the relationship window now and add in the tables that we want to work with. Well we obviously want to work with the orders table and we want to work with the products table because they're the two that we're actually wanting to link together and it will be no surprise to know that we're also going to add the junction table. So there's our three. I'm just going to rearrange them. So I've got the junction table in the middle. Remember, this is just about a canvas. We can arrange things how we like on here. They can be in any order. You just arrange them to see, to, to suit how you want to see things. So to create our many-to-many -many relationship, we simply create two one-to-many relationships. So we create a one-to-many relationship between the product ref from the products table and product ref on the junction table. And we can see that's a one-to-many relationship. That might surprise you because we're using two primary keys there. You might have expected it to be a one-to-one. -one. But remember, product ref in the junction table is not a primary key. It's the combination of order ref and product ref that is the primary key. So we've created a one-to-many relationship there between the two product ref fields. And on the other side, we'll create a link between the order references. Again, that's a one-to-many. So we've created a one-to-many for the order reference, a one-to-many for the product reference, the effect of that is that you have a many-to-many -many relationship. To have a look at the effects of that, we can dial up one of the tables. Let's dial up the products table. And we're going to work with the subdata sheets by clicking on the plus signs. Now, sometimes when you're working with lots of relationships, the subdata sheets aren't quite the ones that you expect to see when you click on them. So if that isn't the subdata sheet you're after seeing because of the different links, then you just do insert subdata sheet and choose the table that you want to be able to see that's linked. I've got this link to the junction table and then you'll click on OK. So you can see there they've started adding in some information. Let's have a look at product GA1. I can see the order references that have bought product GA1 uh, are 220, 221 and 222 for example. So I can see that one product can have more than one order. And if I close that the table, uh, we were looking at 220 as the order. We can see that that order has got a range of different products. That's many to many relationships. Just briefly, when you are working with relationships, just open up the relationship window to edit the relationship we double click the line or right click and choose edit there's a button here called join type which alters the kind of information you can see as a result of that relationship and we're going to be looking at that um, a little bit later on when we come back to look at queries